Whoa! What is this? Quit gameplay of using a commentary video? That hasn't happened in years. At least it feels like. So today, my friends, or not friends, maybe you hate me, I don't know. We're going to be talking about Rice Gum. Now, you may have heard of Rice Gum, I don't really know if you have. He's kind of a small guy. Hasn't been a lot of controversy at all. He doesn't really look that kind of stuff. Basically, if you somehow don't know who Rice Gum is, he's this YouTuber who just tries to get big off of using other people's name, I guess I would say. And I, I know that sounds rich coming from someone who releases commentary videos every month with titles like this one. Basically he does diss tracks, which I'm sure you know what diss tracks are, rats being like, oh I hate you, you're gay, the main insult of his. He finds like any reason to call out a bigger YouTuber and use their name in the video and then make a really crappy diss track against them. Why am I doing this all the time? A notable example of trying to, to use any reason to try and call someone out is for PewDiePie. Jack have a notable one which isn't really trying to find any excuse, but he milked this for all it was worth. The cow was basically dead. He got a content cut from iDubs, and he did not make one response. Did not make two. He made five. But what is he doing now? Has he gotten better since he's been content copped and trying to improve his content? Has his channel died like Leafy's? No, he's doing exactly what he did before. He released this video on the 24th of February, so it's quite old by now. Sorry about that. Called The Odd Ones Out Roasted Me For No Reason. And do you know who The Odd Ones Out is? If you do, you'll be very confused by this. James, or The Odd Ones Out, is an animator on YouTube who is just one of the nicest guys. At least it seems like uh, I'm not very good at judging people's characters, apparently. But he's got like 6 million subscribers. He puts in a massive amount of work into his videos. He seems extremely humble. And this all stemmed because he made one video about clothing. Basically, the message was like, don't judge people on their clothing just because they have cool clothing or supreme stuff and like that. And he was kind of doing some references to Rice Gum in it. And then, of course, Rice Gum heard of it and made this video. Yo, what is up everybody? How are you doing? I just uploaded five days in a row. I hope you are happy because I'm doing it for you guys. I hope you uploaded five days in a row. As I'm almost certain, after the content cop, you said you would upload daily. So uploading five days in a row is pretty expected. Then again, I said I was upload um, every other day in my channel description. I haven't been doing that, so I'm... Um, <clears throat> Anyway. So I'm over here like changing my ways, you know, trying to be positive, you know, minding my own business. But then I start getting these tweets, these messages talking about this YouTuber is talking bad, talking dirty about me. I don't even know who this guy is. They start tagging him. His name is like Thaws One Out. Oh my god. He just hasn't changed since the content got. If anything, he's gotten worse. Uh, so, um, irrelevant, you say. pretty irrelevant judging by the fact that he uploads monthly and always gets more views than the amount of subscribers he has. Almost every video and he has a lot of subscribers and he opened up a second channel, he uploaded no videos to it and hit 100,000 subscribers. You know that's 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 a sign of someone who is so not relevant in YouTube. The good old irrelevant excuse. It's like a weak this to do against people like, oh you're so irrelevant, ha ha ha. Because the thing is, if you're so irrelevant, as you say, why are you making this response? So many YouTubers who you could potentially use this diss against who have made videos about you, countless videos, the fuckers, I'm Alex, Wild Spartans, me now, even then it's a stupid diss, but the point is that you could do this and it would kind of be right, I mean look at me, hundreds of subscribers and like 15 views a video, wow. I'm so relevant right now. But then you go for someone like this, and you know what you're doing. You're going with him because he is relevant. He gets millions of views, apparently more than you do, but he just can't think of anything to go against him, so he uses the same old irrelevant excuse. Good job. I went on his channel, I'm like, wait a minute, I know this guy. He's talked about me before. I wanted to somehow bring up, hey, I have over a million subs on YouTube. Okay, random pause, but like, why would you bring up your subscriber count to random people? Like, I'm a YouTuber, and if I'm around random people, the last thing I want to tell them is my subscriber count, because when they'll start treating me differently. That was like kind of the point. <laughs> what was that video? Something about school. I need a new question. I wanted to somehow bring up, hey, I have over a million subs on YouTube. But that's tacky. You don't just start conversations like that. So if you kept three seconds of that clip in, your point would be null. So, do you guys watch any YouTube videos? And most of the kids did the same thing looking at me like I was weird, but one kid said, rice gum. Ah, ew. Okay, what? Some kid just said rice gum, my name, and this man just said ew, as if it's like gross or something. 
Why did this man just say ew? It's how dare he say ew after you've clearly been such a nice YouTuber it's for kids to look up to. It's not like you've had multiple videos bullying children on your channel. You've had the opposite of that also, where you've been very sexual towards kids you've seen on your channel. Not even joking about that one. Holy, nah, but she, like, she needs some chill, because she's, I mean, is she actually, like, 13? Because, I mean, she's low-key. Like, she can... <laughs> and, like, you made some very questionable comments to a rape victim on a stream. Why, well, he raped you? Yeah, I mean... Like, did you I sue him and shit, or no? No. <laughs> no, no, but did it feel good, though? No, I didn't. How long, like, did the rape last for? <clears throat> like, what, like, five minutes or less. Oh, okay, so it's not that bad. Damn, so, guys, if you want to rape her, she won't sue you. And there's more. I know you said, like, oh, that was me in the past, it's not the same, I'm different now, but that's probably why you said you. Just saying. But yeah, those clips were filmed in December of 2016, so those were over a year ago, and you can tell by the way he's talking that at the time back then, he already didn't like me, and I didn't even do anything to the kid. But anyways, this guy just dropped a brand new video, and apparently in this video, he's talking bad about me. I don't know, you know, I've been told this. I want to know, I want to find out, because... I mean, I really hope he does it. I really hope he isn't talking bad about me because- I think he does it. I'm not completely sure. But I'm going to start recording for my camera and my audio equipment already, just in case it does happen. You knew what was going to happen. Don't pretend like you didn't. My friends say to me, hey, this guy has made a video on you, and he wants you to respond. And I'm like, I don't know if he does mention me in this video. I'm not going to turn the video on. Turn on my camera, microphone, recording equipment. I'm not going to do all of that and then be like, oh, he doesn't say anything. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. You clearly know. Don't pretend like you don't. Hey man, have you ever noticed that we wear the exact same clothes every day? We don't... we don't wear any clothes. <gasps> hey guys, did you see my brand new Rolex? <laughs> yo, yo, two dudes are chilling in a hot tub. Random guy pops up. That random guy has black hair, supreme shirt, a watch, and he's flexing on people. I mean, it kind of reminds me of myself. You think highly of yourself there, don't you, Vice Cop? You saying about, oh, he's flexing on people, that must be me. We're doing a saying, yeah, I agree with what this guy's saying about me. So what's the point? Hello? You'll never believe what Brian just bought. What'd he buy? A watch. Really? <laughs> what a nerd. Oh, Brian. Okay, so you're telling me this man is two feet from his friend, but he's gonna call him up. And then he... You ever heard of comedy? Happens a lot in media and animation. Specifically... Unrealistic stuff happens in animation. Out of all the names you could have picked, you picked Brian. That's my name. It's like I'm starting to think he's talking about me. I mean, out of all the names you could have chosen, Kevin, Nicholas, Jimmy. All right, so yes, he was talking about you, but so far all he's done is say that you flex on people, which you've already said that you were aware that you do yourself. So, I, why are you so mad about it, bro? So far, nothing really bad has been said about you that you can already think about yourself. You've already gone out of your way to make sure that that cartoon drawing looks like you, so, I mean... I'm pretty sure this guy is talking about me, but, I mean, I guess it's too quick to assume. Like, I don't want to look stupid and assume... You don't want to look stupid. Bit late for that, mate. I think even the super, super rich parents should still make their kids buy their own clothes. Because if you just buy your child anything they want, then they're gonna turn into a-holes who just expect everything without having to work hard. Well, these, like, weird cuts, like, every time I watch the video, every two seconds, it's just him being, like, looking disgusted. Like, once he's like, oh, he's talking about me, but I've said this once. I'm gonna say it again. He hasn't specifically called you out. Unless the person watched the video knows who you are, no one would know that he's talking about you. Also, I don't really like how he looks disgusted when James is just saying, like, a message for the kids, saying, hey, you shouldn't do this because it's bad, which is fair enough, it's a fair enough point, I kind of agree. And then Rice Gum, who knows he has tons of kids watch his channel, being like, oh, no, I'm not saying it, but it's very clear from his expressions. There's no material in that shirt that makes it as expensive as it is. Hey, you know what, I kind of have to agree with this guy on that, man. A white shirt with a red rectangle, that is a complete waste of money, I'm gonna be honest. Like, if you're spending money on that, you're kind of stupid. Like, it is a waste of money. The thing is, though, where I'm coming from, like, I just have money to waste. Wow. Humble brag. You said that you're an idiot for doing it. Oh yeah, but I, c I can do it because I'm rice gum. I'm rich as hell. And that was all you had to say on that issue. I'm not going to say any names, but I will draw pictures. Yo, I know he's not talking about me. I hope he's not talking about me. The thing is, he just said there's a certain YouTuber out there. And I'm really trying to think because, I mean, I watch YouTube. Who else on YouTube be flexing or wearing Supreme? Who else could he be possibly talking about? Like, I think it's safe to assume that this dude is talking about me and I really don't like this segment because I think he's putting words in my mouth. Who's teaching kids that their value as a person is correlated to the amount of money they spend on clothing.
Don't do that. Alright, I hope you guys don't think that I think this way. Like, cue the shot where he walks past people queuing for a Supreme shirt while wearing one, just to mock in their faces how cool he is that he already has one. There's a store called Supreme, and they dropped this today, and there's like this really long line, like three miles. Like, So I'm about to walk by and see the reaction. <laughs> I'm above anyone else. I don't know, man. I really don't like how he makes it seem like if you wear these type of clothing, like these high-end fashion pieces, you're like an automatic douchebag, cocky, looking down on people, constantly flexing on people, when in reality, you just like fashion. No, he's not making out like people who wear that. He's making it out like you are because you are and you've admitted to that he's just very aware that a lot of people who do wear that kind of stuff are like that and they are not all of them but most of them some of them okay don't get angry supreme lovers i'm not just gonna walk outside wearing a i don't know a pink poncho yo is that me pink poncho yo that's me in the pink that was me this dude just popped up a picture of me Oh my god, oh my god, I knew it! Oh, it's so funny. He gets so angry in your little pink poncho. Look at this point, yes, he is. He is talking about you, but it's for comedy. Someone did a video like this talking about somebody who stretches their videos out to 10 minutes and constantly shows a drawing of PewDiePie. PewDiePie's not gonna make a response and get really angry about it because he knows he does it and it's for comedy. This video is so, like, not even about rice gum. This is about a situation which he wants to talk about and it just happens to include rice gum in there. James also made videos where he's indirectly spoke about Jake Paul and Logan Paul but there was no replies to that and no one saw that as oh my god he's calling out Logan Paul because it's for comedy. I knew he was talking about me but I could not assume and did not want to jump to conclusions but now I know for a fact this dude was talking shit about me the whole video. What the hell? Why can't this guy just roast me publicly or put me in the title or like tweet at me or something? This guy had to literally just be low key and sneak diss me. What a pussy. Wow. You know the fact that this video wasn't trying to mock you, all it was doing was subtly saying that you do these things and saying for you to not do these things in some parts and that you weren't the key part of this video. Just put rice gum in the title, bro. He doesn't need to put you in the title to get views. He's already got 7 million views in that video. I, I don't know. Stupid. No, man, if you're watching this, man, stop hiding behind your cartoons and your microphone. Come out and fight me. You talking that shit? YouTubers, we handle shit with boxing now. Okay, I'm just gonna leave YouTube for another month now. Uh, I can't deal with everyone just wanting to box. Uh, YouTube has become so, so stupid. I, um, I don't, I, I don't see the point of trying anymore. We've clearly lost it. So I'm just gonna, just gonna leave. No wonder the mainstream media hates us, man. Jesus Christ. Actually, let's see what this guy looks like. Let me search up a vlog, actually. I mean, uh, Yo, so I think he's the one in the white shirt. Okay, he's kind of tall. And your sunglasses, Jordan. Oh, yeah. I forgot that. Oh, I need to see those. Yes. Sunglasses. Oh, it finally happened, the moment. <laughs> Yo, why did he hug him again, though? Like, why did he have to hug him again? How dare you hug this YouTuber who you look up to and are now friends with? How dare you hug them twice? Basically what he's doing right here is trying to make, make odds ones, odd ones out look like a wimp and like be like, Oh, look, look, he's calling me out. But look, look how wimpy he is. Me, Rice Gum. I'm much better than him. Stick to drawing cartoons and hugging dudes, alright? Stop roasting me. Don't ever talk about me ever again. Because if you do, ever just mention my name in a negative way, you get three options, alright? Option one, this track. Option two, boxing match. Hey, I'm so insecure about when people call me out for my issues that I want to punch people whenever they do. I'm rice gum. I am exempt from criticism. I have a whole career based off of criticizing people for their looks, for their actions, but me. If I get criticised, I want to punch you and beat you up. Rice gum. You are dumb. Everything James says in this video is about you is completely true. And you know that. You have admitted to it in this exact video. It's clear that James does not want to fight you because, like you said, he did not at you on Twitter. He did not put you in the title. He simply used you as an example for the video for kids to learn from and not do what you do. So your title roasted me for no reason, there is a reason. Get off your high horse thinking that you cannot be criticised because guess what, this is YouTube and this is what YouTube is. You can be criticised, you have been criticised, you are being criticised right now. Maybe you should stop being like, oh they're just haters and actually listen to some of the criticisms. Maybe you should learn from odd ones out. As this video he uploaded one day before you, which was, as you said, 
completely about you has got 5 million more views, 200,000 more likes, and 50,000 less dislikes. But he's irrelevant, and you know what the saddest thing about all this is? Bryce Gum's gonna get a diamond play button. Anyway guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bounce. I gotta go to my Insomnia 62, you know, I've got my own Insomnia merch, but I don't brag, I don't flex. I'm just wearing my Razer headset, but you know, that's fine. I don't flex. This is not a parody in any way. Ha ha ha. Make a response, Rice Gun. Then you could use the irrelevant diss and maybe you'd be right. Now, normally I'm pretty conflict avoidant. Just ignore shit if it's just annoying. I don't write a diss track about Stranger Things episode 7. I just be like, that's disappointed. But recently I was just acquainted with a young man, maybe once fan of ours. Hey, look, this guy's covering handlebars. That's cool, what you saying is bars. Um, instead of my bike, he says your girl. Oh, that's really clever. Oh, it gets even better. Oh, naturally, these days I have to be thoroughly crafted to be busy.